Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. And welcome back to Nerd News Today, and it's time for a special blind ball unboxing. Is this an unballing? That doesn't sound right. But yes, yes it is. It is, is a blind balling. We're balling today. No. Bortles! <laughs> That's why Bortles won the Super Bowl. Did he win the Super Bowl? <laughs> okay, I think you need to stop talking about sports. <laughs> Let's stick to what we know, mm. not sports balls. Right. Mini brand balls. Today we're looking at from Zuru, their Zuru 5 Surprise Mini Brands toys. This is Series 2, and they were supplied to us by the great people over at Zuru. Yeah, we actually found some of these, in fact, at some stores. Didn't know they'd come out. We got a few of Series 1, which we didn't review here. We just got them for fun. And yeah. uh, then Zuru just happened to reach out to us, and we got ourselves a whole box. So, yeah, this is really cool. These are actually very, very exciting little balls here. So... <laughs> You just like saying balls. How often do I get to say that in these videos? A lot. Yeah. A lot more than people think. That's true. Mm -hmm. So, as we said, these are blind balls. And the way this works is, after you open it, you basically crack it open like it's an orange. And it has slices. There is one toy in each compartment, so you get a total of five toys. And there are over 70 minis to collect. We have a full case here. This is what you'd find in stores. This is a proper display case. And uh, yeah, so that means, therefore, we're going to have 120 different ones here today. I don't know about you, but I am very excited to see what we're gonna get because these are just the cutest. I mean, for me, I want these because as an action figure collector, there's the potential for using these in all sorts of displays and photography. So that alone makes it actually worth it. So I think it's time for us to have a ball and open some of these mini brands. It really is like an orange. I was like, peel this, look at that. Look at this. It's not supposed to. <laughs> Check it out. Has a little pop top. Wow. <laughs> it just came undone. Really did. And we're going to start opening up these. Let's let's just at least open up one on camera. The rest of the thing we're going to probably do off camera yeah. to a degree. So there's this little uh, rubber piece here that actually is what holds the five pieces together also. You can take that out and then they'll all fall apart on their own. But yeah, I love the packaging. It is really, mm -hmm. really cool packaging. Yeah, so it comes with a sheet, you know, it comes with a checklist. Shows you what the rares are because of course you can't have blind, blind bags, blind balls, blind boxes, blind whatever without, a you know, the checklist. And then it shows you all the... Well, I got some cool things already, though. So do I. My stuff's probably cooler. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. All right, so I'm going to show a few of mine first. I got some really fun ones. So mm -hmm. I got myself a little thing, a sweet relish from Heinz. Ooh. I got myself some A1 steak sauce. Nice. I do love good A1. I got some hardwood smoked bacon. Ooh. I got some McCormick vanilla extract. That's very important. And a big jug of almond breeze. Perfect for me because I'm lactose intolerant. Exactly, okay. And since we haven't mentioned it yet, we, this is actually the probably most important thing we should have mentioned at the start of the video, is that they're all actual brands. Yeah. That's why they're called mini brands. These aren't just like generic little things. No, these are actual licensed products meant to look like the original item. I got Kraft Caramels. They say it's Caramels. Gotta make sure you pronounce it properly. I got some McCormick Ground Cinnamon. Then we start getting to the interesting ones of Beagle Bites. Ooh, Beagle Bites. You got pizza snacks. See? We got Lunchables, which is one of the ones that we got promised, you know, yeah. right away. And finally, this one I really, really like. It's Frank's Red Hot Original Hot Sauce. Nice. So we got sauces. So the cool thing about these two, as I mentioned at the start, is that these are really great for figure photography. Mm -hmm. The question is what scale are they good for? Yes. So you can, guys can see here as I'm holding them in my hands, like these are not really meant for three and three quarter GI Joes. Oh. You could almost sneak them into six inch figures if you said the, those six inch figures went to Costco or BJ's <laughs> and bought some like oversized ones. Yeah. Eight to 10 inches prop is the proper size, but they don't really make figures like that. Not really. So, so, so I think the one they fit closest into would be the one six scale figures, the 12 inch figures in other words. And unfortunately, I don't have any of my Hot Toys figures here, but we do have something close to scale. Check it out. See, that that's perfectly in scale. Monkey Man. John Q. Monkey Man. <laughs> and his love of lactose-free beverages. So How these guys... is this? These guys are more or less actually in the correct scale. Uh, granted, their hands are not meant to hold anything ever. <laughs> actually, that bacon, yeah, that doesn't even fit in his hand. Godzilla's doing fine over there with his hot sauce, though. He, well, he likes his hot sauce. For King Kong, it's more of a bludgeoning device. Oh, God, that's terrible. Wow, what, what kind of party is Godzilla going to? He's got a bag of caramels and hot sauce. It's Godzilla. We don't ask. Yeah, good point. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead now and just unbox a bunch of these and come back and talk about what we got and show you the entire range because hopefully we'll have actually gotten all 70 by the time we're done with this. Oh, oh 
Oh, it's a bagel bite party with hot sauce. And King Kong brought the steak sauce. That's pretty dope. He's got some weird taste buds. No, no. A1 sauce is awesome. It goes on almost anything. Even bagel bites? It's pizza bagel bites. Yeah, all right. So you can make it work. That's fair. Let's open some balls. Let's unball some balls. Let's go balling. Let's get spherical. Let's get spherical. Mm. Spherical. I'm gonna. Let's start opening our Dragon Balls. Gotta catch them all. That's Pokemon. Mm. I didn't even do that as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Parson cheese. You got your favorite, Kool Aid. <gasps> I love Kool Aid. I'm a hot pepper. Hot, hot, hot pepper. Pepper. Yeah, you're gonna have a whole spice rack by the end of this. I'm excited. Oh, snap. This is awesome. Oh, you got the shopping cart. I got the shopping cart, so... There is a rare shopping cart that's, like, mixed throughout these. Like, you're not guaranteed to always get one, but there is yeah. a shopping cart in there. Hey, look! It's crispy fried onions! Ooh, yummy. <gasps> it's a miracle. It's a miracle. <gasps> it is feta cheese! It is feta cheese. Um. Oh! You can't have my feta. Okay, now I gotta try and figure out how to put this together. Oh, no. It's not a race. It just matters most who opens them all first. Fastest. Oh no, this isn't the shopping cart. This is This is a cash register. This is a cash register. This is a register this? and uh, the conveyor belt. This is like self checkout. What? That's really cool. I think there was a register in series one, some or a shopping cart in series one. I feel like there's another one in this series too, but I guess we'll find out. It's shake and bake and I made it. Nice. <laughs> it's really sad how we know so many of these slogans and like they're just built into our brain so much. This is like consumerism at its finest. It's like every single product we know here in front of us for the most part has a jingle and we know it. Mm-hmm. What? Velveeta! You like Velveeta. You're I do. A, you're a Velveeta fiend. Oh, I got... Did you got a... Oh, I think that's the shopping cart. I think you're right. I think, yes, looks like I got the shopping cart. Oh, that's... I got all the shopping cart pieces right there. And there's stickers for it, too. Yeah. I got some of those, too. I'm... Oh, okay. It's so not sure. actually a shopping cart. It's those little uh, <gasps> hand cart thingies. I don't know what you awesome. call those. What do, what do you call those? Those are the things? hand baskets. Hand baskets. Okay, I got a hand basket. Hand basket. <laughs> Were we supposed to say that together? <laughs> no, just happened. Just Carol Channing's Hand Basket Incorporated. These snap in pretty easily too, by the way. And like, oh yeah, this is really quick. I'm done. My hand basket. Check it out. It's got a little uh, slideable thing there. Nice. So that's what's interesting about these now is that I'm looking at these accessories, and they don't really, you know, you can put like one or two things in there at most. These are more in scale with like a six inch figure, whereas these items, again, as I said, unless you're going to Costco, aren't going to really fit in with those toys. So. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but it's something to note. That's how you make that work. Oh, man, this might be like my favorite uh, right now, the bunch I just got out of all of, out of all my oranges here. This orange has got, this is like my orange so far. Everything in here is stuff that I actually eat and use, I think. <laughs> oh, okay, and I just got another other thing. Did I just get what you got? I, I got know. another mystery item to no, put together. You, no, no, that's something different. I think oh, this you is gotta a, open it up. Yeah, but yeah, so far in this-, in this Oh! So far on this ball, I got some uh, lightly salted almonds. Nice, nice, nice. I got some more almond breeze. I got some original taco seasoning. Ooh. And some Cool Whip. I do enjoy some good Cool Whip. Oh, okay. This is a little little thing. What is your little thing? It's like a little candy snack bar. Oh, meals. sweet. So basically, you're going to be able to put together an entire supermarket. Is, yeah. Oh, my God. Check this out, people. Check this oh, out. Oh, wow. That is really cute. Look at this. Oh, but size-wise, it's completely off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like these accessories are very, very cool, but they don't fit in whatsoever with anything else. I don't care. You know what? I just, I don't care. These are awesome. Paprika. I really am building some space. <laughs> Rag. Ooh. Is this what I think it is? Clausen, it's pickles. You got pickles. I got pickles. Oh, no, I got a dupe. I got another Frank's Red Hot. Yeah, I've gotten a few dupes so far. Oh, this one's awesome. I got some mac and cheese. Yeah, I don't I don't hate the dupes either. No. I gotta be totally honest. I uh... <laughs> These are fit. Like, this is my favorite line to get some dupes in right now, to be honest. Oh, I got some sweet relish. Uh, I feel like this is a new one because I have some lightly salted blue diamond Ooh. almonds. I like how they're all lightly salted so far. They're, they're, that's the only like way. These toys oh. are watching their sodium intake. Oh, Heinz 57 sauce. Whoa, that's like the rarest of them all. Oh, snap. So there are rares. Yeah, there actually are. There aren't a lot, but we have super rares. They're the ones that are covered in gold. We have a glow in the dark. Ooh, I want that. 
Well, it's the almond breeze. Normally, you don't want your food to glow in the dark, but in the case of these mini brands, you do. Yeah, but you have two almond breezes, and that's what they say is the glow in the dark. Well, maybe there's, there's probably a glow in the dark version of it. Yeah, and we also have metallics. Those are the those are all the rares. I mean, it's not a lot. Total looks like it's about eleven different ones, but we're pretty excited to see if we can get even one. I have to build something. <laughs> I have to build something, I think. Oh, I got the... Sh you got the cart. Man. I got the cart for real. So, there really is a lot of stuff I wasn't expecting in there. Like, like all these little buildable things. Because they're, they're not really, like, shown, I don't. I feel like, on the packaging as much, right? Like No, no. <laughs> oh, man. I was not expecting to get the shopping cart. Ooh! Nothings. Nothings. Wow. Nothings. I have not thought about nothings in a long, <laughs> long time, actually. Thought about nothing. Oh, this one's for you. Stove top. Ooh, give me that one. No. <laughs> Trade you for some Velveeta. I don't like Velveeta. That's you. Okay, I'll keep my Velveeta, and I'll take yours. <gasps> I might trade you for that A1 sauce, though. Uh, we'll see. Oh, here. I'll give you an organic thyme. <laughs> what time is it? Show, Show time. time. Like I said. Check this guy. I got it done. Oh, that's that so out. cute. Yeah. And like how it has little barcodes on it. Yeah. Let's see if I can put some stuff on this. Let's see, again, it's like you can really only put like one thing on it. <laughs> but it's... it works. I mean, it's something. It's different, at least. Oh, gosh. I got to build the frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well the good news for me is that if i get one of those cards i don't have to build it because you've already built one to show everybody at home oh, you paprika okay do you, do, you, do you say paprika or paprika get out <laughs> if you don't know how to say it you can get out oh, I think oh hey guess what i got a cart and guess what i'm not gonna build it because you're already building one. Oh, you suck i'm oh, fine i accept this besides i got a thousand island dressing oh that's cool yeah that's actually a good one <laughs> Oh snap! We got a gold. I got a gold. That's a mustard. super rare. And not only that, it's a French's mustard. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna put this up front. It says, "Get out of the way, Velveeta. Oh. You've been usurped by golden French's mustard." That's that actually does look really nice. Okay. Well, here's my cart. It's not as exciting as your golden, your, your golden French mustard, whatever it is you got. But you have a cart now. There's so much. Anything goes with Jello. I don't know about that. Laurie's season salt. Seriously, it's all about the spices here. I love it. Old Bay seasoning. Nice. I, I you can make some fries with that. My niece would love that. Oh, hey, they're not lightly salted. They're smokehouse almonds. All right, bring on the sodium. Oh, hey, crystal light. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I mean, I don't mind crystal light. I like our, our reaction. Yeah. yeah. I got another buildy thing and it's another cart, so. Oh, thank goodness. It's a pretty good ratio, though. Like, you know, yeah. it's not that hard to get something to build, and that's kind of a fun little add on. I don't know. Oh, I I I'm getting triplicates now. Oh, those are the almonds. I got more Lowry seasoned salt. So, Ooh. yeah, we're, we're definitely hitting. Uh, Ooh, flax seeds. Nice. So, we're still finding new things, but we're still getting some different things. Oh, golden crinkle french fries. Ooh, yum. That's a good one. Another Heinz. <laughs> Ooh, 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 baby bell. No, sorry, laughing cow cheese dippers. I don't see how many things I can get on King Kong's hand here. Yeah, I was gonna wait until I was done and then I was gonna start just piling it all on. Nothings. Ah, uh, more pickles. Oh, hello. Oh, nope, it's uh, Thousand Island dressing. Godzilla can't hold this stuff. Oh, let's stack again and see if I can beat my record of three items in his paw. Here's another cool whip. So we're definitely starting to run into duplicate territory now. But that's because we've opened how many of these now? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> We have gone through so many. Got some more pure vanilla extract. <laughs> you know, folks, I just realized that Miracle Whip you had, like, at the start of the video, this is the normal one, and the one that's currently in this hand basket is glittery. Oh, snap! So that actually was, like, a rare one. Okay, Didn't so we realize did, that. You did get one of the rares. Nice. So you're going to go next to the golden mustard. This is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but it's, you know what? It's a fun mess. Ooh. Ooh. We got something different. This one. Ah, stubs. Oh, nice. Got some stubs. It's his barbecue sauce. Yeah, I like stubs. This is fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally actually digging this here. <laughs> this is so much fun. That's part of the fun of these things, too, though, is that, like, they are, to be fair, pretty cheaply made if you think about it. Mm -hmm. But that also means that, you know, that's why you get five per item. And are we just stacking things on our monsters now to see if they can hold? Oh, you were suggested it doing? earlier. Right, I'm fine. just going to see. Yeah. Let's stack. I mean, we could just talk about the product, but, you know, why talk when we can do this? <laughs> so these things are, like, super cheaply made, but you get five in a package, which is really nice. They all look basically what, what you get in the store, and that's what's really cool about them, too, because, again, I think these are great for figure photography, more so with the 12-inch community. And I think it's actually great for the 12-inch collectors because they're already spending a ton of money anyway on their toys. Oh, yeah. So to be able to get, like, basically, if you could just spend 20 bucks, and that means you're going to get at least 20 of these guys. Yeah. Most of them will probably be different because there are over 70 to get. 
We got a lot of dupes, but that's also because we had 120 in our hands here Exactly, today. yeah. So, to be quite fair, the number of dupes we got, not that bad. It's fine. Yeah, I'd also say the ratio of, you know, the shopping carts and, the, you know, the, the actual, you know, machinery from the supermarket, yeah. as well as the rares and super rares and everything, I don't think that was a bad, you know, like, ratio, you know, for considering how much we got. I mean, you got all this stuff, but it's like if you get a box, you're guaranteed, you know, a bunch of the important stuff. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things on Godzilla, just wow. so you know. Kong, you're not keeping up your weight here. You gotta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, I got ten. Jenga. <laughs> so overall, we clearly very much like all of these. We're having a lot of fun with them. And yeah, we definitely recommend this for basically for little kids, especially they would oh. love this. It's gonna be a great stocking stuffer for the holidays. Oh my gosh, Small yes. gifts. And more importantly for folks like me who are figure photography people, this is great for a 12-inch figure. Yeah. Uh, I do want to just quickly add on to what you're saying about for kids. This is a really great way to help them learn more about stuff. I know that's not, we don't really do too much, but I'm sure plenty of you guys watching have kids in your life or have relatives who have kids in your life, you know, whatever. Um, but this is a great way for them to start learning about supermarkets because these are identifiable brands. You know, not like the weird stuff that you get in the place and you know for the play sets so it's just it's really cool for them it's great for photography great prices great brands really cool designs i love the rares yeah uh, i cannot wait to look at some more of these i know i we're definitely hooked in these now aren't we oh yeah 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 we're gonna have to get more godzilla i, I cannot what, what a great shopper he is though <laughs> i know he really knows how to how to maximize his his space I mean, his diet is questionable i mean he's got a lot of yeah. sauce there he's also got a lot of um, salty stuff that explains a lot Saucy and salty. Yeah. Mm. Godzilla, salty and saucy. <laughs> that says it all. So on that note, that's our look at Zuru's Surprise Mini Brand Series 2. We like them a lot. We think you will as well. So until next time, I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. That's our look at Zuru's Surprise Series 2 of Mini Brands. And we'll see you guys here next time with some more blind box and apparently blind ball openings. That just sounded weird. But yeah, we're going to open up some blind balls. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. See you guys <laughs> next time.